It's Cyclonus, and I am here with another video and uh, some more Xbox related news. And in this video, I want to talk about a recent statement from Phil Spencer about supporting first party games on the Xbox One. Um, head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, has spoke recently with China's Game Corp during China Joy Convention this past week. In the interview, he stated that moving forward, Xbox's strategy is revolving around into investing on their first party lineup and signing fewer third party content deals. Phil Spencer goes on the record to say, my strategy is more around our own first party franchises and investing in franchises that we own and probably fewer exclusive deals for third party content. I want to have strong third party relations but paying for many third party exclusives isn't our long term strategy which I personally think is a win for Microsoft. This has been highlighted heavily this year. Sony has taken the Call of Duty DLC agreement for Black Ops 3 and at E3 Microsoft did not focus heavily on third party titles coming to Xbox One. Xbox has been highlighting their full lineup as the greatest game lineup in Xbox history. As the company now starts to focus on their first party titles, they're launching Halo 5, Guardians, Gears of Wars, Ultimate Edition, Forza 6, and Tomb Raider, and more. And with that, they're transitioning their focus to those titles rather than relying on signing third party deals because first party lineups should be put first and third party will follow. And I mean real first party exclusives, unlike what Sony is doing by taking a cheap, underhanded route by making third party look like first party games because they're broke and can't afford to put money into their studios to produce first party games often. That's why their first party games are lacking and far in between. By Microsoft focusing on first party exclusives totally gives them a big edge over Sony. Microsoft Studios is a serious threat for Sony, especially if Microsoft really, really focuses on it fully. Because at the end of the day, we all know Sony's garbage ice team developers are no match for Microsoft Studios engineers and developers. Microsoft's overall developer studio structure looks better prepared to handle multiple first party exclusives than at any time in the Xbox's history. There are the AAA studios of 343 Industries, Turn 10 Studios, Lionhead Studios, Rare, The Coalition, Remedy, and Cloud Gene. So I'm liking this new approach from Phil Spencer, and it's a great welcome, which should be great news for Xbox fans. I personally think that Microsoft should get back into the sports arena and get some NBA and NFL and other sports licenses and work on Xbox Sports. And let's not forget WWE and boxing. This will be amazing. Sony has no first party exclusives hitting the shelves this holiday. Xbox will get Gears of Wars, Halo 5, Forza, Fable Legends, Tomb Raider, Rare Replay, and tons of other great games hitting the shelves. Why Sony has um the Uncharted Collection? Maybe a MLB game or something? Sony could be in real trouble this holiday regardless of having a Call of Duty DLC exclusivity. Some ponies will say, what about until dawn? Okay, I have seen the game in action. Why it looks good, it still sucks. And it looks very boring. And I'm not interested. Sorry. Concentrating on first party is a great strategy. And Sony should do a bit more as well. 
indies and making third party titles look like exclusives is cool and all, but without real solid first party AAA titles, your console doesn't have an identity. And that's what people are not understanding, is that the Xbox One has an identity. When I think Xbox One, I think Gears, Forza, Halo. When I think Pony Station 4, I think Uncharted 4, Bloodborne, and... Well, that's about it. <laughs> That's all I have for right now. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. I will leave a link. I'm Cyclonus, and you already know my opinion counts.